sick. I'm at the other end, um, in the toilet. <clears throat> I'm not vomiting, I'm done with that for now. <laughs> Hopefully for a while. Um, anyway, I am feeling so acidic and terrible and I'm glad that the plane has finally landed and finally in Melbourne. But we couldn't seem to land quick enough. Got as many photos as I could, but I missed out on some good ones. I'm not usually affected like this. I tell you, oh, I look it. Oh my god, I look so green. So relieving to have a pee. <laughs> oh, my belly is so big. <coughs> oh yuck. I'll be washing my face good and proper just to make sure all this shit's off me. Mm. Enjoy Melbourne. So this is what mummy looks like today. Bigger, bigger, bigger. Mummy's cause, um, call for desperate measures. Not only she's in a size up bra, Still, still fits. But, complete disaster. <laughs> they ain't mine. <laughs> but they're the only things that fit. Well, lucky I brought them then. Okay. <laughs> I did not notice that, but now that's funny. Anyway, I'm wearing troopy pants. This is my belly. And this is my bra. And it's massive. And... Like, these are the toasts. <laughs> I know. Oh, yeah. Two yeah. different toasts. And Cardo for little fetus! <laughs> Dear fetus, you're nearly 19 weeks old and here is some cardo for you. <laughs> <laughs> so, mm -hmm, hello. And, oh man, it's the last bit of bread in the house. And it's like, payday's tomorrow and mummy's starving to death, so. Savor it while it lasts, I'm 80. Hello. I'm 19 weeks and one day, two day. My baby is the size of a mango. <gasps> size of a mango. Today's Friday the 13th. I'm still lucky because I'm still growing a fetus in me! <laughs> For lunch, I'm having two of my favourite foods. Rice and cardo. And... Yesterday was payday. And I had to buy myself a new bra. Mm. I'm starting to feel more movement in my belly. That little fetus is going, mmm. There's room in the womb. Funny thing, right? Um, she rung the other day and she was hoping that I was having a boy. And I said, I don't know. I'm going to leave it as a surprise. Because last thing I wanted to do is for dad to find out firstly and him to cast judgment. And I'd rather just have a judge-free pregnancy, to be honest. What else has changed in mama's body? Oh yeah, I've grown up a dress size. I'm now 16 and stuff. I size, fit size 16 more. My belly is massive. From now on, my belly's going to be going up a centimetre per week. Uh, good morning. I mean business. <laughs> 20 weeks this week. What's more? 
I am really showing. So I'm having peanut butter and jelly for breakfast. Yankee food. Still loving Cardo. Still loving raspberries. Um, still loving all the savory foods as usual. Um, Jasmine came to the ultrasound and I blurted out she's the godmother so she's the godmother now. <laughs> mm. Mm, 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 mm. On the day before my 20th week, my boobs leaked. They leaked colossum. Which is like when a flower gets pollinated and it has all this honey dripping out of it. It's in my boobs. It comes out of my boobs. And I learnt where Colossum actually did come from. It actually comes out of like the little spout, spout thing in the nipple. And um, it's still like the holes around the nipple. 21 weeks this week. Which is a big deal. Because I'm just over halfway, literally. Um... I already have a patient number for the King Edward Hospital there. Just had my appointment just there. Everything seems to be going well. A lot of baby kicking and a lot of baby motion. Showing it stuff, you know. Um, produced colostrum on Wednesday last week, which was the 18th, I think. Um, I woke up with two like patches on my shirt and Troop goes, oh it's beautiful and I go, are you fucking serious? I'm not ready for this yet. And he, he goes, it's still beautiful and I'm like, uh -huh, okay, um, I'll take your word for it. <laughs> because at the time I was like fully asleep and I, I was like still waking up and Troop was just like, you know, it's okay and shit, try to calm down the stressed out pregnant one which is like oh my god and Troopy has had his um, blood test and our bloods are not the same we have pretty much polar opposites he's a positive I'm a negative I'm what I'm B negative and Troopy's A positive which is totally fucked Troopy can't help me out when I'm desperately in need, so I have to seek some other donor's blood. Yeah, now I have breast pads. Yeah, just like that. And like that. It was like I was in desperate need because I was like leaked and I was like, oh shit. I'm going to have to wear these breast pads, dude. Today, I am 21 weeks <laughs> lactating already. And this is my meal. My starving to death meal, which consists of avocado, fish replacer. Egg, meat replacer, beans, um, folate, <laughs> and white rice filler. But I've now replaced woman food with mother food. So, <laughs> so I need to start thinking about buying mother food. And did I mention, when colostrum dries up, it's like glue. Firstly, it's sticky like glue. Yeah, you like doing like that. And it's like sticky. And like you could always, you could use it as like a glue replacer for paper. Like, and sequins. Like, it's like craft project. <laughs> colostrum craft project. <laughs> and then it dries. And it's like glue. That's really hard. And it's like rough. And it's like... Hell funny. So I'm gonna finish up my lunch. 
Pray to fucking God I got some energy to get to the butcher and buy myself some mother food. Oh. Holy fuck. Look how many people actually like that. And that's the fetus photo. <laughs> 22 weeks this week. It is currently 8.10pm at night and I'm waiting patiently to go to bed. <laughs> um, <laughs> This week's symptoms are more colostrum, permanent breast pads, um, more snot, <laughs> coughed up a massive tonsil stone this morning. That was funny. Oh, I've still got it. I could show you. Yes. Hello, son. I'm going to look for the tonsil stone. Holy fuck. Oh my god, it's disgusting. Like, you imagine all these tissues like that, clumped together. It was like tonsil stone was like that and we had an odd stray one like that and it was like stuck like that. I gotta try and get up now for some of some strength. <laughs> Breast pillow collection! Spare pillowcase. Breastfeeding pillow. UFO UFO feeding belt Where'd that go? How the hell do you What? I'm just too small for this thing So it looks like that Like quack 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 And oh my boobs Um Oh we go like that Well that's what that's how you fucking do it Dude, you're a fucking genius. That's how you fucking do it. Going to the mall, going to the mall. Oh my god. And the anatomy pillow. Anatomy pillow. Acts as like two giant belly beat, like. Two giant peanuts. <laughs> or, or do you reckon it looks like tamarind? It looks like tamarind. Oh, look at that. Look how big it is. So you sleep on it like that, and then you have it like that, and the belly's like that. Infant wedge. Work and practice holding a baby. We've got this pillow, and um, that is <laughs> cute and tiny, and it's a belly bean and. I love it and sleep with it every single night of the week. <laughs> and it's like that. And you do that. that. Give me some balls. Give me some balls, mate. Give me some balls or boobs. Yeah. Clip clap clip clap clip clap clip clap clip clap clap clip clip clap 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 la 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 la
spare pillow. I got another maternity pillow. I got this maternity pillow. <laughs> and it's a snake. I call it snake pillow. Or snail. Yeah, it's a snail. Snail pillow. Um, with this pillow. Um, it zips. So you do that. And it does that. And you just love it and shit. <laughs> Another maternity pillow. <laughs> pillows here at the moment. Oh, by the way, the pillow too is not over yet. The pillow tour continues. They're like, they're cute from the plane. These are all the pillows we currently sleep with. <laughs> so, that's my pillow. My pillow. Um, Troopy's pillow, Troopy's pillow, Troopy's pillow. When he takes forever to go to bed, they're my pillows too. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Another elbow pillow. Here is my belly, my belly, my belly, my belly, my belly. My belly, my belly, my belly. Yeah. 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 <laughs> we enter this room. How many pillows can you spot? Ouch. A prickle. So, this is another pillow, which is actually longer than me. <laughs> And it, it's like that. Let me do that. Oh fuck. <laughs> you just feel like tripping over it and it's like, oh, life savior. Hopefully this one's comfy, just like my other ones. Or, or you do this. Mm -hmm. You do that. Rock up on belly. Got elbow pillow again. And we have another elbow pillow here again. We've got two guns, <laughs> two gun pillows. I am twenty. <laughs> I've forgotten how many weeks I am. Excuse me for a moment while well, Mummy remembers it. <laughs> I am twenty-two weeks. I turned. Still keeping up the water because mummy still gets thirsty. Only the only thing different now is that there was a notepad that permanently lives on the kitchen table because mummy can't remember stuff. This was yesterday. Yesterday was a nightmare. I forgot things until I wrote them down. And then I remembered to do them all. Miracle! I've got a pen stuck to the calendar on the wall, which is also helping as well because I forget events, not just the to do list, I forget events, seeing people, doing things, appointments, etc. <laughs> so at this instant, I would love to share some of my baby brain stories. Okay, the first one, which is a crack up, would have to be leaving the video camera flap display screen open and then picking it up not long ago and going, oh my god, I left it open so the battery's drained and I opened it up and it, it turned back on from power saving mode, economy mode or something. And I was like, oh, thank God. And then, troop, 
went for a shower and I picked up all the shit that was dirty and went to put it in the washing machine but I put it in the landfill shit bin instead so I had to fish everything out of the bin and then put it in the washer um, oh the other day oh my god so funny <laughs> um, I had spuddy on me and um, being a mama I was like oh I think my little bird is hungry so it's my little bird which is just a rubber duck um, so I opened the fridge and I'm about to put spuddy in the fridge <laughs> <laughs> and I go, ah crap, he's not food. <laughs> I have to give him food. I've also had some catastrophic baby bane moments when um, I thought all I was okay for Troopy and I realised that he snowed under with homework until the end of the month and I had to cancel my friend and she wasn't very happy with me and still feel bad about it good evening okay yesterday was Monday and on the calendar I had put down troop see the psychologist at 11 um later that Day, I get a phone call from my psychologist at King Edward saying are you okay and I was like yeah still pregnant why you missed your appointment at 11 oh fuck so when she rung me to make that appointment I put down Troopy by accident when I was meant to put down me. So consequently, <laughs> neither of us made it to our appointments because we found out the Maylands Wellness Centre was closed on a Monday and it was a holy shit moment. Hello. <coughs> Here was Spuddy. Hello, and today I am 23 weeks pregnant. This is how pregnant I am. Little fetus. Little fetus. Holy crap, it's elongated. Look, it's gone like that, lopsided. Is it about that size? You see this? Yeah, I'll see it. It's, it's like a little volcano on my belly. Yeah. Holy crap, look at my volcano! It's moving! It's moving! Okay, so... Bird. Yeah. Goldilocks bird. So, we make our own bread. And this weighs 500 grams. And... <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> And um, the baby fetus in my belly weighs 500 grams. So this pack of flour is my baby. So, so for the next week, I'm going to be like, there, there, little pack of flour. There, there, pack of flour. It weighs more than you. Holy crap. <laughs> it's actually bigger than you now. Ha <laughs> ha! And today I woke up the worst upon the worst sinus infection. I think. Like, I woke up with a headache and I was thinking, why the fuck have I got a headache? And, um,. I had some Himalayan salt because that's the only thing that was the only thing I could think of of um, relieving this headache 
like that's what I heard and I was, I don't know, I didn't reach for painkillers, I just went for salt. <laughs> Stop it. Oh. So, today I've got to find some really cool music. I was going to say, do you want to show us or like you probably got me in the film? Oh, you're using the flour, I wanted to make bread. <laughs> hey, Troop. Hello. Today I'm going to find some really cool music. The baby's weight is 0.5 kilo, so which is the thing of flour, and the length of a ruler. Shut up! And his or her <laughs> hearing is improving day by day. Yeah. Start talking by, to the baby. I'm pretty sure you'll be able to hear the bird. It's bad. Sing songs or turn on your favourite music. Fuck yeah! Music, please! Where's that bird? There! He's screaming on me. He just wouldn't stop screaming. Maybe he would stop screaming on me. Come here. <laughs> you mean Dave's little bird today, aren't you? Mummy's got a migraine. She can't deal with this shit. I usually don't complain of migraines. It's usually a troopy thing. I'm definitely pregnant, eh? Yeah. 